Bill doesn't have, I give up. Hey, I'm Emily and this is The Way We Hunt. Today I'm going to do a, whoa, a little windy in Oklahoma. I'm going to do a taste test of three different brands of freeze dried meals. Now, if you guys have been following us on Instagram or Facebook, you saw that Ryan and I and our friends over at Harvesting Nature got drawn for the spring bear hunt in Oregon this year. So the foodie in me and the very picky eater in me decided that I bet there are other options out there besides just Mountain House and some of the other brands that you can find at Costco and Walmart. So I did some extensive research and I found uh, Wild Zora and Peak Refuel and many other brands that are out there. The wind is just gonna, just gonna have to leave it. Um, many other brands out there that I really wanted to try but seemed like very expensive or just kind of out of the, I don't know, realm of possibilities. Um, so I'm gonna run through them real fast. Everybody knows Mountain House. Mountain House has been around for a while. You can buy it at Walmart, you can buy it in bulk, you can buy, you know, almost anywhere that you can go, Academy, Atwoods, et cetera, places like that. Wild Zora is a little bit different. I found this one online. Um, it's a paleo, AIP, um, vegan, every dietary option that you need, they have it. And then Peak Refuel is one that I haven't tried before. I haven't tried the Wild Zora either. One I haven't tried either, but it is a little bit more well known than Wild Zora, uh, I think. But it's a little easier to come by. They sell it in different places. All right, so just basic facts about them uh, from front value. These are all beef recipes. A lot of freeze dried meals that you find are vegan options because meat is expensive. And so when you find a freeze dried meal that's fairly inexpensive, it's because it's a vegan option. You can still get your protein that you need in that, but we're obviously carnivores in this house, and so I want a meat option. Uh, the Mountain House and the Peak Reef Fuel both come in a two serving size. And since Ryan and I are both going, I really like that option. So we can just choose one meal, make it, and we can both eat out of the same bag. Wild Zora is a one serving portion in their container. But a lot of things that I found about Mountain House that the other companies don't have is a very high sodium um, intake. So this Two, uh, two serving container, a half package is going to give you 51% of your daily value of sodium, which I guess if you really need the salt intake, that's good, but it's 1,230 milligrams of sodium just in your serving. In the Wild Zora, the sodium intake is 21% uh, at only 490 milligrams, and the peak refuel for a single serving uh, is gonna be 17% at 400 milligrams. So the Peak Refuel and the Wild Zora both have really low sodium uh, intake compared to the Mountain House. The Mountain House is just gonna give you this huge punch, which will probably make the flavor really good too. Um, another thing that I noticed, the calorie intake. If you want a big caloric intake without eating two servings, the Wild Zora is 420 calories, whereas the Peak Refuel is 370 calories, and the Mountain House only comes in at 270 calories. So not a whole lot of caloric intake on the Mountain House. And then when you're looking at protein, protein's important. So a Peak Refuel, it says 40 grams of protein on the outside of the package. True, if you eat the entire thing, but if you're eating a one serving size portion, you only get 20 grams of protein. And the Wild Zora, it has 36 grams of protein, which is like insane. And then when you come to the Mountain House, it's only 16 grams of protein. So face value without tasting anything, I'm kind of leaning towards the Wild Zora, even though I like that Mountain House and Peak Refuel uh, have two servings per container. But these are so small that I don't think it'd be that big of a deal for Ryan and I to pack in our own meals. And it might be a little better because again, picky eater over here, he can choose which ones he wants and I can choose which ones I want. Um, Peak Refuel doesn't have, I give up. Peak Refuel doesn't have a ton of different options. Uh, Wild, Wild Zora has plenty of different options. And of course, Mountain House has a ton of options. So Peak Refuel, when you go to their website or you're looking for it, there's very limited options on the different types of food that you can get. All right, so let's get to it. Um, the Mountain House takes two cups of water, 
The Wild Zora takes a cup and a half, and the Peak Reef Fuel takes a cup, one and a third cup. And they're all about 10 minute times. So let's open up the Mountain House. When you open the Mountain House, it actually looks pretty good. You can actually see big chunks of beef and something exciting is happening on the street. Um, peas, carrots, potatoes maybe. Um, make sure that you take out the oxygen absorber in there, but you don't want to eat that. It's not good for you. Each one of them has one that you'll just have to fish out. But let's look at the inside of this. That actually looks pretty good. Has, you can see the chunks of beef, carrots, let's see. Has potatoes, beef, carrots, peas, um, some other stuff in it, and garlic, spices, etc. So that one looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna add our two cups of water without burning myself. And we're gonna seal it back up. And it says eight to nine minutes. And the, we'll just leave it there and let it cook. All right, so the Wild Zora says, obviously we gotta tear the package open, take the oxygen absorber out. Okay, I'm gonna open this one up, take out the oxygen absorber, close it back up because it says that I need to invert the bag and shake to distribute spices, which may have settled. Okay. This one looks different. It looks like there is a lot of beef in there. Um, it has beef, tomato, onion, sweet potato, carrot, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, green onion, cayenne, sea salt, garlic, cumin, black pepper, and coriander seed. It actually sounds really good. Let's see, again, this one takes one and a half cups. And I forgot to stir the mountain house, so I'll do that. So this one, it says five to 15 minutes, depending on altitude, so that's interesting. I think our altitude here is about the same as where we're going in Oregon, because we're gonna be on the coast. Um, so I'm curious to see. I think probably longer is better in all of these. You're not gonna hurt it by sitting longer because they're freeze dried. All right, last but not least, Peak Refuel takes one and a third cup. This is beef chili mac, oxygen absorber out. That actually, that smells really good. And it looks kind of weird. It has beef and macaroni noodles, beans and vegetables and a sweet chili sauce. That doesn't, so this one is a two person one too, like the uh, mountain house, but it takes one and a third cup of water versus two cups of water. So if you're in an area that water is scarce, that would be another good reason to choose the peak refuel versus the mountain house. So, and it says 10 minutes on this one. So I think 10 minutes across the board would probably be good. So we'll come back in 10 minutes and see what we got. Okay, we're back. Battle of the Beef. Um, we made this water in our electric kettle. When we're out there, we're gonna be using the jet boil. And if I remember correctly, it makes about one liter of water. So that shouldn't be a big issue as long as that we have you know, access to water. We'll have plenty of space to heat it up to pour into here. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Let's get started. The shortest one is gonna be the mountain house. It said eight to nine minutes. So 10 minutes should be plenty of time. All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks like a lot of the water has been absorbed. Doesn't look like there's a lot of extra water in it, which I like. Because I know some freeze dried meals want you to dump out the excess water. It smells good, it smells like beef. Yeah, that's pretty good. It has a lot of flavor. I can really taste all the salt, all the sodium that's in here. The beef might need a little bit longer. 
for rehydration. But yeah, no, I would definitely eat that. 100%. That's good. Hmm. Okay. So this looks like there's a little bit too much water. It said one and a half cups. And this is, it's beef chili, but there's a lot of extra water in this. I said five to 15 minutes, it's been 10. I would probably definitely wait longer on this one to see if more of the water is absorbed or just use less water next time. It smells good though. So let's try. It has good flavor. I really like it. It definitely needs some more time though. But there's like, you can taste like a lot of the extra stuff that they put in here because they pack this with a lot of good stuff. Mm. That was a crunch. Yeah, that one definitely needs some more time. So I think 10 minutes is not long enough for the Zora. All right, let's try Peak Refuel. That actually looks like beef chili mac. I think that was the right amount of water for this one. There's just like a little, there's like a touch maybe of extra water in the bottom, but not bad. I'll be curious to see how the noodles do. It's a little crunchy. Um, it has good flavor, but like an overwhelming chili flavor. It's just like, it tastes like beef and chili mixed together. Um, oh, and then of course the beans. I don't know what's crunchy. I don't know if it's the noodles or if it's the beans. I think maybe it's the beans. So I think overall, they're all really good options. Uh, a little tweak here and there. Uh, I think the one with the most flavor though is gonna be the Mountain House, just probably because it has so much salt in it. So if you're in an area that you're just like losing a lot of salt because you're sweating or it's high altitude or whatever the case may be, maybe go with the Mountain House because the salt intake is not gonna be that big of a deal for you. Um, I really wanna like the Wild Zora and I'm gonna give that a little bit more time to come back because I really like everything that's in it. It's all natural, there's no preservatives. Um, it, has, it has really good flavor, but there was just a lot of excess water in it. And the beef chili mac is probably good, but I'm, I don't get chili at places normally because I'm really picky when it comes to chili. Um, but again, you can't, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, but I definitely want to give the Wild Zora another chance to come back from maybe not rehydrating as quickly as the other options have. So overall, um, we're gonna give it a minute and maybe try again here in a second and see if like an extra five minutes on the Wild Zora makes a difference. Okay, we gave Wild Zora some more time and I retasted everything again. Again, the Mountain House has a lot of flavor to it, but it's literally like salt and garlic. It absorbed really well. The amount of water is a little high. The Wild Zora, it has a ton of flavor in it. Um, I, even after the 15 minutes, I think it needs a little bit more time to absorb or less water because there's still some excess water in there, which I think is just trying to rehydrate everything still. So it could be the right amount of water. It just needs more time. And who knows, it just might be our altitude here. But I actually really like the Wild Zora flavor. And then the Peak Refuel, maybe it's just the beef chili mac, but it, again, it just tastes like beef and chili powder with some macaroni and beans added to it. If I was on the side of the mountain, I would definitely eat it, don't get me wrong. I'm not that, that picky, um, but I think that top flavors is definitely gonna come from Mountain House and Wild Zora. And I think if I could choose, I'm definitely gonna go with Wild Zora. Just because, I'm still getting that pack of the high calorie intake. 
the high protein intake, the low sodium versus what Mountain House is going to give you. It's high sodium, lower calorie, lower protein. Um, probably the cheaper option versus Wild Zora. But when it comes to nutrition, when you're hiking or hunting or backpacking or biking or whatever you're doing, I think that uh, nutrition is, is key into everything that you do out in the outdoors. So I think that I'm going to go with Wild Zora, even though it didn't rehydrate like I wanted it to. I just definitely think it needs some, a little bit more time and that it's going to outrank um, these other two. But I would definitely like to try another Peaks. Uh, to see if maybe just the Chili Mac just wasn't to my liking and uh, try it again. But we all know that the, probably the Mountain House is always going to taste good because everybody likes salt. And I definitely like salt. I'd rather eat salt over sweet any day. So, again, um, this was great. I liked it. It's fun. And this is what I'm having for dinner, like all three. I'm going to have, like, all my calories in one day in one sitting. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, uh, tell us what we're doing good, tell us what we're doing wrong, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks, guys. So this day keeps getting better and better. Now it's raining. Or in, a, in our escape raft. We've been all over the U.S. in a few countries hunting and fishing. And now we want to take you on those adventures with us. And if you stick around, we're going to try to share some tips and tricks with you. So hopefully you can do the same thing. So check us out.